Welcome back everyone. This is GTA Failure. In the last video, we wrapped up our collection of at least 10,000 ammo for every kind of weapon. And now here we are, finally the moment we've all been waiting for. You want to know how long it would take to shoot 10,000 of every weapon. So in the last video, I shared how long it would take to uh, shoot 10,000 of each weapon. And if you add up all those figures, you get just a hair under 18 hours. 18 hours to shoot all that ammo one after the other. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you real soon. Okay, I kid, I kid. Uh, so here we are with our first story mission since the very first video in this series. So this guy right here is Mickey Hamfis. Let's read a little bit about Mickey uh, from the wiki here. Uh, Mickey, Mick Hamfis, is a minor character in GTA 3 and a supporting character in Liberty City Stories. He's a member of the Leone family and the bodyguard of Luigi Gattarelli. This is his only speaking role in the entire game, although right now it's Luigi reading this letter. You probably can't hear it. I put the uh, audio of the game real low. Mickey is voiced in Liberty City Stories by Chris Tardio, who has also appeared in The Sopranos. The voice actor for his appearance in GTA 3 is not credited. So right there, we pick up the bat and we learn how to use the, uh, the bat and how to change weapons and everything. But I think we're pretty experienced in that at this point in our playthrough. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do here is demonstrate kind of the vanilla um, uh, passing of this mission. And so uh, this mission has three objectives, uh, according to the wiki, uh, pick up the bat. Uh, take the uh, car of the drug dealer and bring it to the pay and spray, and then finally bring that sprayed car over to Luigi's lockup. So here we're going to take this bat and use it to good effect on the drug dealer. Boom. And uh, let's see if he wants any more. Oh, he does. He should have stayed down. Oh, I'm, I'm eating some punches here. Boom. There we go. Take the car and get it resprayed. Can do. Uh, so this is really the uh, pay and spray tutorial as well as the uh, introduction to weapons tutorial. Um, coming back to uh, Mickey Hamfis, his sir, this is the reading from the wiki, his surname is a play on the term ham-fisted, which is a slang term for a clumsy or bungling person. He is described as a, quote, moron in the Liberty City Police Department police files. I don't actually know where to find the police files. Like I looked on the wiki, I, I didn't, I didn't look very hard, but I didn't find it. Uh, okay, so uh, here we are wrapping up objective two of three, uh, where we uh, get a free pay and spray instead of a thousand bucks like it normally costs. If you recall, in uh, when I was doing Taxi Driver on Portland, I got this weird glitch, which I still don't understand, where I could repeatedly respray one particular taxi um, while I was on Taxi Driver and it wouldn't cost anything. So I think that the game, uh, when I was doing Taxi Driver, was kind of confused with this moment right here. Uh, we even got the uh, re this respray is complimentary message back then. <clears throat> okay, uh, the uh, name of this mission is a reference to, uh, so Don't Spank My Bitch Up is the name of the mission. Uh, it's a reference to the drug Spank, which is the the name, the street name of the drug that goes around in GTA 3, and, uh, and also a reference to the 1997 song Smack My Bitch Up by the Prodigy. So there you go. Okay, uh, so mission complete, and now of course we're going to reload and show you some some other stuff going on here with this mission. Um, so uh, first thing uh, to say, I'm going to skip the cutscene. I'm going to I'm going to do a lot of cutting here in uh, in the rest of this video. First thing I'm going to demonstrate: you don't need to pick up the bat, even though it's marked on the map with that little green marker. It is not required to ever pick up the bat. Uh, so um, now we are going to. Instead of hitting this guy with a bat, which in theory we don't have, um, we're going to shoot him once and see how he likes some of that. Okay, so here we go. One round of the Uzi, maybe a couple of rounds. And then this begins a long um, running chase. Like, I'm, I'm not surprised that he didn't want anything to do with me because now he recognizes I've got 10,000 rocket launchers for him. Um, but he, uh, he just kind of ran around and really have a... a a goal in mind, like he, he ran towards me at one point. Uh, so this isn't double speed here because it was a long run. And then at some point I said, oh, he's by the water. Maybe I could I could punch him into the water. That'd be cool. But uh, but then he, he ran away from the water and then re-engaged me. I think he, yeah, I, I, maybe he re-engaged me because I ran into him. Taste the fists of justice, sir. 
Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate what happens when the car catches fire. So I intentionally damaged this uh, this stallion a bunch, and this particular stallion is a mission-specific vehicle that is required to stay alive. So the vehicle is wrecked. That is the only mission fail state, according to the wiki, other than the standard getting busted or dying during the mission, which is always a, a fail. So here I said, okay, what if I take, I've already done the mission and, and I've got the car and it's right here. Um, and I wanted to see what would happen if I brought it to the pay, to my uh, safe house. And the answer is nothing. Uh, so then I said, okay, what happens if I destroy it here in the safe house? Because we know that as soon as the garage door closes, like the car will get reinstated. So the first explosion is the grenade going off. The second explosion is the car getting destroyed. You can see it destroyed there. But if I just re, you know, like close the garage door and open it, it's perfectly fine. So I don't know, I guess there's an order of operations here, um, but technically the car was destroyed even if it was about to get repaired. Uh, and uh, here I am demonstrating, so, so it was a mission fail. Uh, so here I am demonstrating that you can shoot this guy quite safely as long as you stay away from like outside of his radius where he, he decides to come after you. Uh, and I wanted to see if the ladies were interested in, uh, you know, any kind of business, any work at this moment, but they weren't. They're just standing there in stunned silence. Okay, so now I'm fast forwarding to the next destination. And uh, like it's a mission specific vehicle. So I want to know what happens if we take it to the crusher. So I'm guessing Luigi isn't going to be thrilled that I take this vehicle to the crusher. But uh, here we are. And uh, I wasn't sure when the, I knew it was going to be mission fail. I wasn't sure exactly when that would happen. But here we get to, we get to learn that the car is crushed essentially the moment the crusher closes from the top. Okay, next up, we're going to use one of our precious uh, 10,000 um, rocket launchers. So that's going to be fun. And it turns out it makes no difference if you kill the girls. It's only the, the guy that needs to die, and it's fine if the girls die. Uh, oh, it's uh, not a rocket launcher. Grenade. Okay, so so far so good until it was bad. So uh, probably not such a great idea to use grenades around this mission-specific vehicle. And now here's the kind of speed strat, is you just drive into the guy. And again, totally fine if you crush the girls. Luigi doesn't seem to mind that you kill the girls. He only wants to make sure they aren't on drugs, which I, I don't know, have to admire his, uh, his dedication and, uh, and interest in, in keeping drugs off the streets. Okay, so here, I didn't, uh, I didn't pay and spray the vehicle yet. I just said, well, what happens if we bring the non-pay and spray vehicle over to the lockup directly so it doesn't open up? And then here I said, well, uh, what happens if I try to put a different car into the lockup? So I've already pay and sprayed the stallion to my right there. It's ready to go in, but I want to put the taxi in. So we just got to do a little maneuvering here. And, uh, and I have to be in this car, I guess, to, to get the garage door to open. So we shove it in there. And I wasn't sure if there was room for a second vehicle in this garage. It's pretty clearly a, intended to be a one-car garage. We'll see. So I'm just kind of pushing this one off to the side here. And then we'll get in and we'll jam this car in and see what happens. Okay, uh, in terms of the uh, rewards, oh, I was hoping that the garage door would just close, but it didn't. So then we get this long fruitless double speed thing of me trying to push the, the car in and I really couldn't make much progress, I don't know. Uh, at some point I give up and uh, decide to get another car to try to bash this first car in, the stallion in. So that's what we're going to do here. And I come back and the uh, uh, taxi has despawned. Okay, fair enough. And then I get out and I'm disappointed that uh, it becomes a mission pass. Like that's enough. I just needed to like be near the garage, uh, like with the car full. So the car was fully in, right? I didn't move it any further in. So apparently like two cars in there is just no good. It's just not allowed. But I wasn't going to take no for an answer. I said, okay, I'm trying to impress Luigi. He's my new boss. I want to get more work from him. What if I give him two stallions, right? Like he's got a thing for stallions. So this is the pay and sprayed stallion that I'm getting in here. We're going to really jam it in there firmly in. It's all good. And all I have to do is back up and win. And no, it just won't. The door won't even close with the second car in there. So lame. So then I decide, okay, we're going to shoot the second car, expecting to either get like an instant mission pass or an instant mission fail. I was probably expecting a fail more than a pass here. So the first car catches fire and the garage door I'm hoping will close. It doesn't. So I run forward into the 
path of the blaze, uh, hoping that uh, I can get that garage door closed in the nick of time, but I couldn't. But I also didn't fail. Why didn't I fail? The, the car that Luigi desperately wants is destroyed. So I'm running around on him, makes no difference. I can't get the garage door to close. So I think like, have I soft locked this mission or something? So then we get this other vehicle, discover that uh, now the garage door is closed. So, okay, all I have to do is stand in the special spot and I win just outside the garage door. I'm waiting for a mission pass, but no, but it's also not a mission fail. You can see on the mini map, the marker is still there. Like it knows the, you know, either the garage is here or the car is here, but it's nothing. I think the only way to, to resolve that is to, um, you know, get busted or die or what I did, which is just reload my previous save state. So here I decided to be a pacifist. I said, I am not going to kill this guy. I don't know enough about the situation, right? Luigi says he's a bad guy, but I don't know. I try to judge people based on how they treat me. So I said, all right, we're just going to let somebody else do the deed here. And uh, I had to get a three-star wanted level. I, I, just, I, I killed like 20 people getting that three-star wanted level, but I, I feel comfortable with my moral choices here. Okay. So Turns out you don't have to be the one to kill the drug dealer. You just have to get somebody to do the deed. And uh, and I will just finish this mission formally and, uh, and wrap up this video. Uh, so it looks like the wiki uh, shares for each mission shares the uh, reward that you get and also the deaths, like because some deaths are required uh, in the mission. So the reward for completing this mission is $4,000 and the mission Drive Misty for me is unlocked. So that'll be the next video. Uh, deaths, uh, the spank dealer is killed by Claude for uh, giving drugs to Luigi's prostitute. See, that's not true. I did not kill that uh, drug dealer. Uh, and then it says optional Luigi's prostitutes can be killed while trying to kill the, the drug dealer. Um, yeah, and then uh, the murder of the dealer is the first storyline killing of the 3D universe going by title release date. So there you go. So here we are just uh, pay and spring the car, which also loses the three star wanted level, and which I immediately get one star back. But I say, well, I don't have enough money. I don't want to waste another thousand dollars in the pay and spray. So let me just deal with the one star wanted level. And uh, and then I figure, well, what if I uh, demonstrate what happens uh, if you finish a mission and you have a wanted level? So I think I'm going to kill some more folks here just to um, see if I can get up to a two star wanted level. Uh, and we're going to see that uh, when you complete a mission, you lose all the stars you have, regardless of how many you have. Uh, but again, uh, note that, that I'm being a pacifist in my official passing of this mission because I did not kill the drug dealer. I guess uh, the body count is probably up at like 30, though, in my efforts here to, to get the two-star wanted level. Those folks are going to... Um, that the families of those folks will, will understand that they died in the name of science. So all good. Okay, and we just step out. The two-star wanted level disappears. We get our 4,000 bucks. Hello, officers, nothing to see here. Oh, the officer got in the back seat. I don't think I've seen that before. I thought they always got in the driver's seat and the passenger seat. Okay, gang, that is our second story mission complete. Hooray, hooray. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you real soon.